Hello, this is Diana Ballard, and welcome to the Mom Training Podcast, where we discuss the skills and strategies to create possibilities in motherhood and make it more fun, efficient, organized, and peaceful. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. Whoa, Diana. It's not even Thanksgiving yet. Yeah, I know, but we got to check our mindset before we get there so we can enjoy the next couple months. So let's make a goal together that this holiday season is the best and the most relaxed we have ever been. Seriously, let's do it together. So today let's chat about simplifying the holidays. So we're going to tap into two of the main strategies of being a skilled, efficient mama. One, preparation. And two, to always be searching for ways to simplify your surroundings, time, and energy used. Okay, let's take like a couple seconds and think about how we have felt other holiday seasons. Mm -hmm. Did we slide into each holiday morning exhausted and frazzled? (laughs) That's a terrible feeling, I know. Or did we get enough sleep the night before, wake up like a G and be like, bam, holiday, you ain't got me this year. Mm Mm-hmm. Ha! I'm going to sit back and enjoy the fun, friends, and family because I've put in the work and preparation to be chilling today. Because ladies, let's be real. These times of our young children being excited about the holidays, the fun things we do specifically with our children, they won't always be there. These times won't last forever. Now, if there's a lot of stress experienced during these times, there may be some thoughts of, good, (laughs) I'm glad these times won't last forever because they exhaust me, right? But overall, years later, we'll look back and remember the good times and wish we were there just for the day again. So the goal is to actually enjoy the moments now and create positive memories that are now instead of just remembering the good times in the future. We know we want to enjoy it, but sometimes we might not know how, especially with the overrun of consumerism and expectations we as mamas put on ourselves. So let's jump into some ways that we can make this season so much more enjoyable and relaxed. Our two strategies we're focusing on is preparation and simplifying. Preparing early prevents stress, saves us energy, money, and prevents damaging relationships due to our exhaustion and pressure that comes. Simplifying is really about taking out the unnecessary and the fluff and leaving the real meat of why you and I do something and what we enjoy. So for preparation, this could mean planning for things super early, like finishing your gift shopping by the end of November, which I'm actually done by the way. (laughs) Yeah, I'm super excited about this is the earliest I've ever been done. I'm like determined. I'm like, I'm going to get this stuff done. (laughs) Or it could be, you know, planning your Christmas cards early to be able to send them out by December 1st, which by the way, gets you more Christmas cards back if you like that. So that's always a good thing. (laughs) Or deciding what you will be serving as appetizers for your holiday party weeks before and setting up people to help you prepare to bring things. Or if you don't like shopping early, making sure you have a list ready that you've been, you know, keeping notes for a while of exactly what you want to get your kids, your spouse, your friends or family or whatever. So when you find a deal, you can save yourself money and you can shop in peace. And then if we switch to simplifying, do I have to give gifts to everyone and their dog in the neighborhood? Right. Mm -hmm. We we know. We know how that is. I've done it before. It's not fun. (laughs) Everyone at my church, each person I interact with, you're going to be the one to decide what you simplify or not. I have cut back on gifts immensely, like delivering things, extra trinkets, the treats, and everything still flows smoothly, and I still have friends. (laughs) And I can do things that make other people feel important and special that are close to me, but it doesn't always have to be something that I'm either giving or is like uber time consuming, right? Now, of course, if there's someone you feel needs some special attention, gifts, love, or deliveries, do it. Serve them. Love them. That's why it's up to you to simplify and figure out who you're giving gifts to and not. And maybe you'll enjoy it by just thinking what is necessary and what matters most. Then don't feel ashamed when you've really thought about it and decided. Follow through on those feelings and see how the season flows for you. What's most important to you? The feeling? The decorations? The food? The communication? What can you cut out? Yeah, it may be a little uncomfortable to cut back on some of the fluff of the season, but allow yourself to cut back on it and feel empowered by it. Let's use the example of throwing a party. It could be just a holiday party or an actual holiday day. So everyone's style is going to be different in party throwing, but I'll share you some of how we have simplified and life has gotten so much more enjoyable. 
So this year we are throwing a couple holiday parties and they are super simple. Some examples, we're not decorating for the party except mood lighting, which for us is like dimmed lighting. Tables and chairs, and each person is invited to bring an appetizer to share. We provide a couple platters, and the utensils or cups or the eating ware needed. We just serve ice water. We have a special message we're going to share where each person gets to participate in a group at their tables and ending in some jam sessions with some singing carols together. And we don't have them leave with a gift. The gift is the feeling and the experience we create at the party. I say that because I used to make a million little gifts to give each of my guests after these parties. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. <laughs> we put the focus on the relationships and the moment. It works really well for us. All the things we leave out would make a party nice for sure, but we've taken out what's not worth it and focused on what was, and it is such a better experience, so much less stress, striving, pressure. We literally show up and have a blast. So instead of showing up on the party day stressed, rushed, and rude, let's be honest, <laughs> simplifying and preparing early can make a party day or holiday more enjoyable. So think about how you can simplify and prepare for the season soon approaching. Getting your Christmas shopping done super early, having things wrapped way before the season even gets here, relationships will be sound and protected, and that's what matters most. Honestly, there are certain people who love the push, the rush, and the chaos during this time. So waiting till last minute gives the rush of adrenaline, serotonin, and satisfaction. But that also means that things might be bought that are impulse buys, purchasing way more because we don't have a good inventory of what we already have or if we've purchased enough, and running the risk of expressing stress and rudeness more to the people around us, especially our kids and family. And our goal is to make this season a relaxed and peaceful time. So let's get determined this year to chill our way into the holidays, enjoy it, and not break the bank doing it. Let's prep early, simplify, and be on top of our game. Because we know that the added parties, the family time, the hustle and bustle is already going to put enough pressure on us, especially as the mom who has a lot of responsibility of the cooking, a lot of the gift stuff, elf on the shelf, which I will not even go into. <laughs> like, that is not worth my time, okay? Simplifying the holidays. See you later, elf on the shelf. <laughs> I don't got time for that. <laughs> but again, whatever you want to do, do. Whatever you don't, get rid of it. <laughs> However you can simplify, do it, girl. So let's do what we can control and enjoy the heck out of life, man. If you have any ideas of how you could simplify or prepare for the season, I'd love to hear about it. Head over to Instagram and Facebook at Diana Ballard Live. That's at Diana Ballard, L-I-V-E. You rock, mama, and we'll see you next week on the Mom Training Podcast.